everybody, Matt here with Blue Tail Survival. We're out here at the Death Toy Wilderness uh, doing some filming. Uh, I promised Carolina that I would show how to make char cloth, so that's what we're going to do right now. I'll break out the fire kit. Um, I did do a demo of this at a camping trip, just a regular camping trip that I went on not too long ago, and I kind of failed at it. And this damn thing. If you could see, I might have used too much cotton bandana. Uh, because basically what happened is that whole end, is that visible? Mm -hmm. Didn't get charred. So I'm going to finish charring that later. But we're going to kind of do a start to finish thing. We're going to do it on the Primus stove just so you can kind of really see it. We're going to film the entire thing. So first thing you want to do, and I'm going to do a small piece. It's not going to be huge because I want to make sure it works. But the whole idea about char cloth is so... Say you are in a survival situation and you have cotton. You have a bandana or something like that. Um, well, a bandana with a flint and steel, a ferro rod, a bandana is probably not going to go up. Maybe you don't have a ferro rod, maybe you don't have a lighter, and you have to do a bow drill. Okay. Um, everybody knows, well not everybody, but most people know that a bow drill is the most difficult fire uh, you can make. Or a hand drill really, but... Um, <clears throat> It is the most dif difficult fire you can make. So once you make it one time, you don't want to have to make it again, right? So the idea behind this is you've made a bow, mo a bow drill fire. You have a means to make char cloth. So you make char cloth so that your second fire isn't as difficult, okay? So basically what we're going to do, I'm just going to take this little piece of cotton here. Um... And we're going to put it in this little metal tin. Now this tin, all right, was something very much like this tin. This is that mini Inferno stuff. Okay, it was very much like that. I, I actually think this was that zombie eyeball fire starter. Um, I used all those during the winter for my personal fire at my house. Uh, so what I did was I poked a little hole in it because it is pretty airtight. And uh, this is what I used to, to make my char cloth. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of ball this up. I don't really believe it needs to be any fancy thing or anything like that. I'm gonna have to pick something out because, or pick something else because this thing really is a pain in the ass. Okay, all right, so we're gonna do that. Now, we're gonna show you the whole thing from start to finish. I'm gonna cook it on this stove. What should happen, okay? What should happen is you're going to start to see smoke come out of the top of this. And eventually that smoke is going to ignite into a flame. All right, Because basically what we're doing is we're cooking that cotton inside without fire. It's going to create a gas and then it's going to combust. And then uh, flame is going to come out the top of that. Once that flame stops, there should be a bit of smoke. And, uh, and then the smoke should stop. And that's what happened to me last time is the smoke stopped. But I don't think... Uh, I don't think I let it go long enough, so I'm not exactly sure what happened there. So I'm going to turn this down real low. And this really shouldn't take that long, it's a small piece. Can you zoom in on that? Like the very tip top. Alright, so you can see it's starting to smoke right now. In a second, that smoke's going to get pretty steady. Alright, smoke's getting heavier. In a second, that's going to turn into a flame. Boom, there's your flame. Now this will come in and out. Uh, it is a little breezy, so that might go out. Eventually, it'll come back on, come back on like it's a light bulb. It'll ignite again. Now what's happening right now is you're cooking off all the impurities. You're cooking off the dye, uh, that gray dye, any other impurities that are in there. And what is going to be left is basically pure carbon fabric, as far as I, that's what I understand. 
Now this flame is slowly going to start to get lower and lower and lower until it's almost like just a little candle. That's going to go out and there might be a little bit of smoke here. I'm going to let that go a little bit longer this time. Alright, I'm going to call that. Now what needs to happen... Even if you had gloves on... Uh, even if you had gloves on, that would, uh, and you tried to open it right now, it would just combust because oxygen would hit all that carbon. I don't know exactly how it works, that's just what I hear. So what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to let that cool because that is very, very hot right now. And uh, when, uh, when that cools down, we'll pop that bad boy open and we'll show you what we got. Alright, so we've let that cool off now. And uh, let's check it out. Here's the end result. And that's a success. All right, so basically we took that piece of cotton, and you can see that the size, it shrinks down significantly, right? Because um, it's just, I don't know. I don't, I don't exactly know something to research exactly what's happening in there. Um, but, uh, so this takes a, a spark from a, a flint and steel, and that's like one or two sparks. I've never tried it with a ferro rod, but just to kind of give you an example of what it does. Caught, and it's just going to burn nice and slow. All right. Now, obviously, you can't. I mean, this isn't an open flame, but what the idea behind this is is you throw this into a tinder bundle, and then, uh, oh yes, you uh, you push that heat in that ember into a tinder bundle, and it'll catch. You saw that on the first episode of uh, Desatoya. So, um, hope that was enough. Uh, Hope that was clear as mud. I did it on the stove because I wanted you to be able to see those actual flames. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fix my uh, my failed char cloth. And uh, we're going to move on with the night. Thanks for stopping by. Keep going, bro. Sweet. That's dope, dude. That was all on one try. Good shit. Fire.